Hey, what's up, everyone? So in the previous video, I show you guys how I use Photoshop to make references for drawing. You can check out the link in the description down below. And this time, I'm gonna show you how I draw grids on paper. So the paper size of the drawing is 11 times 14 inch, and we're gonna draw 10 times 13 inch. Uh, so maybe 10 times 13, total of 130 grids, okay? We're gonna leave half inch on all uh, edges. So 10 times 13. Again, refer to my previous video. So to draw grids, um, don't use some um, dark pencils like 2B, 4B. Use something that's light. I personally use 4H because the grids are just a guideline. It, you're gonna erase it. Now your, your finished drawing should have no grids at all. So don't use something dark. Use something light. All right, so let's do this. So of course you need your ruler. Uh, you don't need some you know, ruler that is this long. You don't need to. This is definitely an overkill, but I just use it anyway. So let's go to the inch. Um, so this is uh, 14 inch here, okay? And I'm gonna leave two inch on the side. So let's do this. So you're just trying to line up, um, you know, now you see it's not uh, exactly, not exactly at 14, but close. So you put your ruler on top, uh, make sure this is uh, parallel. And then you uh, make a dot, you know, just an indicator, like right here on, on every inch. Just like this, okay. There's that, and then we turn around. Now, when you turn this paper, right? Remember, it's not exactly 14 inch, so don't start right here. Okay, start over here. Again, make sure this is uh, parallel. Same thing, make an indica indicator right here, like a dot or something. Oops. Now move on to this side. So 11 inch, same thing, I'm gonna leave half inch on the side, okay? Again, make sure this is parallel. Same thing over here. Remember, you uh, we start on this side, right? This side to this side, so. Measure from, from this side to this side. Again, the, you know, the size of the paper is not exactly 11 times 14.
Okay, now you just connect the two dots. Okay. I'm just gonna draw the the um, the border first, okay? The most exterior border. So when you draw these lines, right? Again, sh it should be very light, okay? Don't push too hard, or else you're gonna have a hard time erasing it. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, from the camera because it's very light okay it should be barely noticeable if it's very dark then you're doing it wrong you see this is the the half inch I'm gonna leave okay on, on all four edges so now just connect all the dots, okay? Again, don't use uh, a uh, dark pencil. Use a light pencil. Don't don't push too hard. You're gonna erase this. Your finished drawing should have no grids at all. This is just a guideline when you draw, so you can get your um, the proportion and placement right. Trust me, um, it takes like um, you know five ten minutes to do this, but it's gonna save you a lot of troubles later on. If you don't have grids, you're gonna have a really hard time to get the uh, placement right. So it's good to you know do all the preparation. Yeah, just connect all the dots. Nothing too hard. Okay, now this. So again, don't use too much force, don't push too hard, okay? Um, it should be barely noticeable, okay? So I'm not sure if you can see it from the camera right now, but I'm gonna put it closer when I'm done. I myself never draw all the way to the edge, so I always leave half inch to one inch on all four edges, always. It looks more professional 
you know, it looks, it looks more neat. Another reason is uh, when you frame this, right? The mat of the, you know, is the mat of the the frame is kind of cover some of your drawing. So another reason why you don't draw, you don't want to draw all the way to the edge of the paper. All right, let me bring it closer. And I'm not even sure if you can see it. Again, it should be. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. It should be very light. It should be barely noticeable. Okay. If it's too dark, you're doing it wrong. So that's how you do it, guys. Um, that's how I draw grids on paper. Okay. Um, questions, comment, feel free to leave it down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.